I do a little bit of children's book illustrations, character designs, portraits, still lives, anything that I can paint and tell a story with that. I think color brings everything to life. So I started at GRCC. Um, I built my portfolio there for about two years. And then I transferred over to Kendall because I love the school. I think it's a pretty amazing community. This was my first mural. I was recommended by two of my professors to the diatribe, and the diatribe reached out to me. We did a couple listening sessions. I had a listening session for my area, Elder Heights, and so we had um, people join in on Zoom, and we got to hear what they wanted to see on the wall, a little bit about the social issues going on in the community. It was just a nice experience overall with the listening sessions because I was able to take that input and put it onto the wall. I want to say it took about two to three weeks. At the time, I was working third shift full time, so you can believe I was out here as much as I could come out here. Having family members come out and help me was kind of nice because it and I was also reflective of the message that they also can be here and paint with me, even if they're not artists themselves. So after graduation, I'm hoping to get more into children's books, illustrations, get a couple books out there, tell a lot of stories, especially reflective of minority communities. I think the reason I'm getting into children's book illustrations is because I have a three-year-old, and so I love reading to him, and I want him to see stories that are inclusive, and he feels like he can do what's in the story and just help him explore a little bit more about who he is and where he's growing up. And creating those memories between me and my son is helping me create these stories. I hope that the message that they get from my mural is that it makes them feel welcomed wherever they are in the world, wherever, whatever situation they may be in. 